We are about to look at the house to decide if we want to buy it or not. Uh, tonight is date night, so we don't do on date night a whole lot. We try and make sure we have time for that. So yeah, it's important to make time for each other. We don't normally dress like this. We're looking at houses. It's not the normal thing we do. But we're going to look at this house. Our team put this under contract to wholesalers. And the wholesalers when you sell off from your investor. And so we, have, we put it under for a good price, 60000 actually. And now we're trying to decide. My team is pushing me and saying, well, we think you should renovate it because we think the numbers might work for you. So I'm bringing over my home flipping evaluator along with my home flipping checklist. And we're going to kind of do a walkthrough. And yes, we do actually use the forms that we give. So we're going to go ahead and, and look around. So let's, we're going to kind of talk you through what we're looking at. So we're going to when we drove in, the houses down there looked phenomenal. And then kind of as we've gone down the street, they're not quite as nice down here. Um, but this, the houses down there were great. So I think, you know, by bringing this up a level, that could be really good. There's a nursing home or an assisted living place across the street. They're a rowdy bunch. They're crazy. <laughs> so yeah. There comes somebody in a walker right now, so they're yeah. not slowing they're down. Not, they're not bad neighbors, so that's no, not necessarily no, no, a bad, bad thing. Sure. So, yeah. so I'll tell you what, let's let's we'll do a quick evaluation on the outside, um, and we'll kind of talk through. I see it needs a new roof. We're going to have to put new siding. Yep. You think the whole thing, or just uh, probably the build, the house part, right? You know, that, that part could even be painted. That definitely needs new siding up there. OK. Um, but this is already vinyl. There's, this there's, there's three different kinds. There's shingles. There are. So, long story short, Boom, let's, yeah. let's make our decisions quick. We try and get it out of the house quick as we can. So it needs new siding, so we'll go ahead and check that off. So roof and chimney, the roof needs to be uh, replaced. I'm gonna put replace there. What's the cost of that roof, you think? 4,000? I, I had that exact number in my head. Yeah, I think 4,000. It's not a huge roof, a little steep. 4,000. Usually you're looking at, uh, yeah, that's about an average size. Okay, um, let's go down through our soffit. Look at the soffit. It's okay, it's all the way around, actually. Uh, house exterior, paint, siding. What do you think siding for this house? We walk around the house and look at it. What yeah. do you think? Um, what, seven? Yeah, it's tall, right? Yeah, 7, it's square, 000. but tall. So let's say 7,000. So let's put 7,000. All right, and then driveway. Now, what's the driveway like? This is the driveway. No, you think it's I that think one? This, yeah, it's this one. I'm pretty I think sure. it's a shared driveway. I think it's a shared. Okay, so that's a bit of a. Yeah, that can. That, well, with Scotia, that's not uncommon. So that's something to consider. So not look, everybody loves shared driveways. No, that might reduce your buying pool a little bit because if you have a shared driveway, not everyone loves that. But this driveway is shared, but then it breaks off. So you have your own space once you get up there. So it's just is a matter of on the neighbor. Is that the garage? I think so. <laughs> looks that way. Let's, let's go see. So as we walk up, let's look at the electrical panel. Electrical wire. Yep. Looks to be in solid shape. Yep. It looks a little small, but let's see what looks like when we get inside. Yep, this is a makeshift garage. Do you leave the tent? No. No. I'm just asking. No. You... I'm vetoing that. <laughs> I'm vetoing that idea. Why don't you tell me what you really think? So these are the work outside in the yard for sure. Let's yeah, go check it out. Clean up. So our team has a lockbox on here because we're already showing the house to other investors. We, for more money than we pay, we're paying for it, but we want to check it out. So let's go. Yeah, we want to decide if we want to buy it for ourselves. Yep. All right. So we're inside. So driveway we thought was okay. We have a shared share another deck and fence. Look at the outside real quick. There's not really a fence. The deck's gonna need repair in the back here. We need a thousand bucks to fix that deck in the back. Yeah. A thousand bucks. That litter. There's lit litter outside. I smell cat litter, right? All right. So again, are we gonna buy this house? Landscaping outside? We're gonna need to put some landscaping outside. Yeah, it think? needs some curb appeal for sure. I think 800 bucks. Thousand bucks? Um, a thousand. Okay, we can round up with numbers. When we go through a house, we're, we're trying to get a ballpark estimate of what we can afford to pay for the house. So, and still make a profit. So we're not trying to do an exact science, we're not trying to pin down the exact estimates. You want to get ballparks or ranges, and that gets you in a range so you know if you can make an offer, if it even makes sense or not. So if you buy it cheap enough, all those details work themselves out. So let's take a look. So what are your thoughts on the kitchen? You know, the cabinets aren't bad. We could paint them white. Um, they're nice and tall, put some hardware on them. There's no dishwasher, so we'd have to probably take that cabinet out and put a dishwasher on the end. I don't like this pantry here because the door doesn't open all the way. Okay. So that could probably just come out. Okay. Um, and we'll put a dishwasher there and an end panel. Okay. Um, door okay? Just paint the door? 
Yeah, the door could be painted. All right, we'll look around the rest of the doors. I'm looking at exterior doors now. So, so kitchen is paint and, and appliances? Yes. Let's discuss what that looks like. So. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. So the good news is there's not cabinets on the other side of this anyway, so I can just chop that wall right in half, put a nice little bar over here, because the countertops need to be replaced. Those are kind of trashed and okay. ugly. Um, so what do you think so, we're all in for the kitchen? We normally we normally estimate twelve thousand dollars for a kitchen. Um, so we're the only thing we're the not doing is cabinets. How about the floor? Oh, needs yeah. a new floor. That's vinyl, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's tile the floor. All right. Um, so you think so ten, I, I would say ten thousand. Yeah, go ahead and put ten. Ten thousand. We might get kitchen. away a little bit cheaper than that, but let's just put that. All right, we'll put ten thousand down. Um, a nice chandelier in here. That's normal stuff. Windows are good. Radiator shape. covers. The windows look to be new. So yep. you want to put a hole in the window. Oh yeah. Is it 10, big pass through that? there. Yeah. All right. Big pass through there. Living room. This looks just like a house we did. Oh, well, we did a lot of houses oh, here. Oh, I know what house I'm thinking of. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we're just this is just paint. Floor, we finished the hardwood floors, floor. floor. lights, trim. This hardwood floor is that's easy. It probably carries through there. I would think imagine. So. Think so. All right. It does. It does pitch down. So we probably need to you go, want to go in the basement. You want to go in the basement first? No, let's or go upstairs. upstairs first. Let's go upstairs. All right. We are going to have a little bit of settling right here. I can feel it go down. She's uh, she's a little crazy. I think at times. How about the door? Mark my words. I can't open it. Um, it's date night, so I'll be nice tonight. <laughs> yes, dear. You better. <laughs> Um, you know, I like the bevel glass on the door. It kind of goes with the character of the house. I think if we paint that, we can make it look nice and just keep it. Okay. Put a new light in. Refinish the hardwood. Actually, this is a cool window. That was it's probably not very before. energy efficient, but I like the window. It All right, be, let's go. That could be cleaned up. So the windows are not new here. No. So we need replacement windows upstairs, but not downstairs. It looks like yeah. we have steam heat. You can always tell what the kind of radiator you have, what kind of heat you have. We'll look at the boiler in a minute. See what that looks like downstairs, but it probably has hardwood. So one of the tips you can find out is when you're looking at a house, if there's hardwood in a closet. Oh, yeah, there's an attic up there. there. I kind of want to see. You always put all kinds of stuff when you go in a house. Take a look. Okay. A little office up here. Okay. Nothing we can do though. No. So the third floors are, yeah, you know, let's, we'll hit that. You know, it's great to have a walk-up attic like this though for extra storage and. Totally. People can put their extra junk up there. You always want to check with your building code though because the third floor sometimes if you want to finish that they require you to put a sprinkler system in depends on the town. The third floor can be nice but can be tough too. So. And it can be undesirable. Who wants to go up two flights of stairs to go to the True. bedroom? Hardwood in here as well. How's the closet? Can you see hardwood or no? Uh, no, it's got carpet. Uh, <laughs> Same so window up here. smaller. I think that first bedroom is the biggest. Oh. Yeah, the first bedroom is the biggest. They're all small rooms. You know what I noticed too? One bathroom. Yeah. Up here, nothing downstairs. Yeah. Nothing Which is typical cast. of these Scotia houses. It is. It is. That's very typical of these houses. The other one we snuck a half bath in. I know, I remember that. So how's the bathroom look? So not only is it only one bathroom, it's a very small bathroom. <laughs> so, you know, it's doable. I'd almost like to take that linen closet out and make the bathroom bigger. All right, let's uh, let's we'll keep see. looking. Okay. Don't love it. It's got a small closet, but yeah, that is indicative of these houses. So, a quick tip: when you're looking at a house, you want to get through here as quick as you can. You want to try and get through and again get ballpark numbers of hey, are we going to buy it? We're not going to buy it because the numbers work. That's what we're doing right now. We're literally doing the walkthroughs the first we've ever seen this house. Our team is here; they're trying to wholesale it, but now we're trying to decide: hey, do we want to buy the house? Does it make sense? And bottom line. Do the numbers make sense? We're an investor. We want to know if we invest money, can we make more money? That's what we're trying to do. So let's go check out the rest of the house. So I might be able to sneak a half bath in right here. We do have the stairs going down, so I'm not totally sure I have enough ceiling height. Hmm. I don't think you do. I think you're so narrow here. That's one, two, three, four. I've got five feet. Huh. A little, I've got a little less than five feet. Because those are 12 inches. So, it, but yeah, the width it was going to be. Well, it's three feet wide right there on the widest spot. Which was the toilet? I'm thinking, I'm thinking the back of the toilet was over against that wall. 
and then the sink would go against that wall. So it, it would be small, and then yeah. the door would have to be right here. But it would be a bathroom. Half bath. A half bath. <laughs> All right, let's check out the basement. That's an important part. The foundation is an important part of the house. There's nowhere else really to sneak that. Let me go first, just in case. See lights in the place? There we go. All right, I just want to check your electrical panel. That's going to be important. Usually you can tell what your amperage is. Boy, is that 60 amp? Is that 100 amp service? Usually it says right on here. Uh, yeah, so there's not really a main breaker there. That's probably about a 60 amp breaker. It's an older one. Realistically, it needs new updated service too. Yeah. Yeah. Things are starting to add up a little bit in this house. So you start to learn as you go through a house when they add up and some things don't, the numbers don't make sense all of a sudden. There's a shower. Why are these the houses supposed to have these showers it's down so the basement? It's so weird. Look at this thing. And that's lovely. Look at this. It's disgusting. It's rotted out. Can we out. see this in here? This is nice right here. I like how that's all rotted out. Take a shower in that bad boy, huh? Woo! That's nice. New hot water heater. Washer and dryer. Yeah. So when you buy a house too, everything that you almost always when you buy houses like this, whatever's in the house is yours. Now mostly it's garbage, but if there's things you can sell or make money on it, you should do that. So boiler, let's look at the steam boiler. If we end up buying this house to renovate it, we can put those in our Airbnb. That's very true. Let's buy a house for that just to get a washer and dryer. <laughs> so this is, you know, older, but boilers last a long time. So this is, looks, I was, you know, I'm not a professional HDAC guy, but the rule of thumb is if it looks good and it's functioning, it's probably okay. These do last for a long time. Obviously we have gas down here, so you want to look for things like that. This is a gas line that supplies this. These can be oil or gas or propane. Funny the windows are new down here. Yeah. I mean, solid wise, you look at the wall, you want to see, is it straight? You know, that's what, what you're looking for. Look over here, we got some yeah. little bit of issue over here. Yeah. Pretty typical in this neighborhood. When you start to work in certain markets, you start to learn about your neighborhood. And so, um, you know, this got some, now th this might scare some people, but I can tell you right now, it's not that big of a deal. Once you clean this up, um, there's nothing really moving there. It's, it's settled. This, this building is probably what? This, 70 years old? Yeah, I mean, this is probably a 60, 40. 70, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe the 30s. 40, yeah. So we're pretty solid there, though. It looks worse than it is. People don't get freaked out by that. So just come to the end of the wall and like stare at it like that, and you yeah. can see if it's bowing. Except that the wood stops us right there. Yeah, yeah you're right. That's the right idea. All right, let's talk about this. We have asbestos. We have asbestos, right? So if you have asbestos, don't touch it, don't mess around that. Um, it does, you know, it should be removed. This is asbestos, that's asbestos. Pretty much anything that's older that's, that's like that. In many communities around here, you have to check with your local building code, but with us, if you have it encapsulated, then it's not gonna be a problem. So in theory, we use that rubber spray. You see that guy on TV that puts rubber spray in his boat? You can use that and encapsulate it in rubber, so that's all, so it's covered. We've also done trash bags with duct tape, and that's also uh, encapsulated as well. The homeowner can do it themselves as a contractor, it can be different, but check with your code in your areas, but if it's encapsulated, it shouldn't be a problem in the future sale. I would not tear this stuff off, I just would leave it as is, because when you tear it and start taking the air, it becomes a problem. But you do want to encapsulate it because a buyer would have an issue with it. Totally. How about that front iron? Look at that bad boy. Pretty cool. All right, so let's go upstairs and run some numbers and see if this house makes sense to buy or not buy. Yep. So, gut. What's your gut? I think so. You think so? Well, What's I don't say? know. What are we picking it up for? I shouldn't let's say. Let's go look so. upstairs. What are we buying? Yeah, it for? I think. Let me. Let's let's talk about it. All right, so let's go through this real quick. Let's just zip down through. Let's just get a, a range so I know where we are. I know where our team thinks it'll cost to repair. Let's see what we think it's going to cost to repair. So we are we can pay seventy three thousand five hundred. And that should put us in a range of about a 20% profit or about a $31,000 profit mm -hmm. on this house. Um, if we buy it at 73, we're buying it for 60. So that would put so us in the range. So my gut was right. Yeah, so, that, so that'd be right. So that would put us in the range of about um, 42 to $44,000 profit. Yep. It's pretty simple, pretty yeah, straightforward. It's not a big, yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cookie cutter renovation. So, so what do we do? Do we wholesale or do we sell? So wholesale could make, right now they just put it on the market, we're looking at probably a ten dollars to $15,000 wholesale profit to sell to another investor. 
If we do the renovations, we're looking at about a $40,000 profit. Again, we have the, the the drawbacks are the garage or lack thereof yeah. and the, the shared driveway. driveway at the beginning of the driveway. Right. So, um, so what will that do to the 155 ARV price? Is more like 150? It should that should put us in 30, 40. It should still be a forty thousand dollar profit. Yeah. So forty thousand dollar renovation profit, or we do a 50, ten to fifteen thousand dollar wholesale. So we can make twenty five to thirty thousand dollars more by. But we're doing a lot more work. I understand. In six months, as opposed to being holding the house right. for uh, I don't know two weeks, three weeks. But if it was going to be a quick wholesale and we could make twenty grand, I'd say let's wholesale it. But with this big of a difference, I feel like so. Let's do it. this. Let's. Here's my suggestion. We keep it on the market and we try for two more weeks. If we can clear a twenty thousand dollar wholesale, we wholesale it. Deal. Right? Deal. And if we if we don't, then we actually buy this house, renovate it, flip it, and make yep. forty to forty five thousand. Deal. Does that work? Yep. Okay. Another one of the books.